Well, he never gets less than $3,000 when he's commissioned to paint a portrait. He's most anxious to meet you, and especially Hazel. Oh, for Pete's sake! Why would a famous artist want to meet me? <laughs> well, Herbert told him about the time you rewired the kitchen for oh. us. And he admires women who can do things with their hands. Well, I never would have been able to do that if I hadn't taken a manual art course in grade school. <laughs> How soon can you come over? Well, what's the matter with right now? Deidre and Harry were about to leave. Splendid! Hot dog! This will be the first real live artist I've ever met. Do you think he'd mind if I took a few pictures of him from my scrapbook? I'm sure he'd be flattered. Harry. I'll get my camera! <laughs> uh, Mrs. Johnson, uh, I, I hate to sound pushy. It's the last thing in the world I'd want. Mother always said it was very unladylike to, to, to be pushy. Father always said it was a virtue to get directly to the point. Uh, would you, could you invite Harry and me along to meet Mr. Fairchild? But, Mother, what about those important errands we Hush, have Hush, to... Harry. <laughs> of course, you're both more than welcome, Mrs. Thompson. I want to speak to you. We'll be along in a minute. Harry? Yes, Mother? I've decided what I'm going to give you for your birthday. Oh? Mm -hmm. A Gabriel Fairchild portrait of me. Isn't that exciting? Well, yes, it is, but I don't think I can afford a trip to Europe and a $3,000 portrait of you for my birthday. Oh, no, dear, no. The portrait is instead of the trip to Europe. What about that vacation you said I needed? Oh, nonsense. A man with your vitality doesn't need a vacation. <laughs> what he needs is a Gabriel Fairchild portrait of his wife. <gasps> Think of the prestige. Oh, let's go and tell him all about it. Yes, Mother. <laughs> That's fine. Now, now, say cheese. Uh, cheddar. <laughs> That's good. There. Now, when the Johnsons bring the tea in, I want to get a picture of you and both of them to send to your dad. I'm sure he'd like that. And as soon as Dorothy finishes helping them with the tea, I have an exciting announcement to make to everybody. Can't you give us a hint? Oh, just a teeny one. It concerns Mr. Fairchild. Then it can't be all that exciting, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, the great ones is always modest. Besides your portraits, I bet you get a lot of commissions to do calendars, huh, Gabe? I mean, the, like the ones that we get from Al at Christmas. He's our butcher, and oh, they're gorgeous. You know, they're farms and kittens and, and horses and stuff like that. To tell you the truth, Hazel, I've never in my entire career been commissioned to do a calendar. Oh, well, don't worry, honey. You're still young. Oh. <laughs> For sake. Well, the Johnsons didn't need me at all. That's not true. Without her, we never would have found the cake. Oh. <laughs> Harriet, how do you like that for timing, my dear? Perfect, Herbert, perfect. We always try to have tea exactly on the stroke of four. One of the traditions handed down to me by my father. Herbert's terribly precise, you know. That's one of the qualities that makes him such a fine tiddlywinks player. Why, thank you, Gabe. Well, now that we're all here, I believe Deirdre has a very important announcement to make. Yes, yes, if I may have everyone's attention, please. It's something about Gabe, Missy. I've decided to commission Mr. Fairchild to do a portrait of me, provided he's willing, of course. Oh, that's terrific news, Miss Thompson. Start sitting for you. In the first place, I never ask my subjects to sit, Mrs. Thompson. You don't? No. I prefer to paint what I remember about a subject. That way I feel I get the salient characteristics. Oh, well, uh, what would you say were my uh, salient characteristics, uh, just offhand? I'm afraid this conversation is academic. Oh, boy, you sure know a lot of big words. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. don't be sorry, honey. I'll just go home and look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> That's how I improve my vocabulary. Salient and academic. Well, of course, I already know what characteristics mean. <laughs> it means... Hazel, could we discuss your vocabulary some other time? Oh, sure, Miss Thompson. I, I didn't mean to be a Beninsky. I won't be doing any portraits for a while, Mrs. Thompson. How come? I'm giving myself a vacation from commissions. I'm going to wander around Europe and paint just whatever strikes my fancy for six months. Six months? Mm. Then you'll be there when we come over in the spring. Tedra! You said oh, that Harry, we... please don't fuss. <laughs> Perhaps we'll run into each other. After all, we must know some of the same people in the international set, so to speak. Do you have any idea of where you'll be in April? Not the slightest, I'm afraid. Are you going to Italy? That's the country that's shaped like a boot. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that boot. I'll probably spend most of my time there. Oh, well, then maybe you could do me a favor.